This is the third video in a four-part video series at Goffstown High School about the Gale databases to which we subscribe. I'm starting here in Science and Context, which is one of the four databases, um, but I'm going to switch to something called Gale Virtual Reference Library. I chose to start here because our second video was on this tool, and I want to show you how you can switch from tool to tool. Right up here on the top right, you'll see it says Gale Databases, and if I click on that, it'll bring me back to my list of four. In the previous two videos, I mentioned how you're not going to search where it seems obvious to search in this Find window. It brings back results from all four databases, and that can be confusing. You'll save yourself a lot of time if you choose one of these at a time. Ignore these select buttons and just click right on the highlighted area. We're going to go right into Gale Virtual Reference Library here. This is my absolutely favorite source at Goffstown High School for research projects. I purchase books. These are ebooks. I purchase these ebooks specifically for your research projects uh, and tailor it to your research project needs. I want you to take note just as in the first two databases, it gives you an idea of what is in the databases. These are all the different subjects you can search. Also in the other databases, which I didn't show out, show you before, it has other ways to search, including advanced searching. You can bookmark things. It also gives you a dictionary. You can look for help. You can highlight all kinds of things to make your researching easier. When you look at any website, you take a look at the whole screen. You're not going to just click, click, click which I often see students doing. Take it all in, get an idea of what is there before you get started. Today we're going to search for William Shakespeare, which is one of our bigger projects at the school. This is a project for freshmen, and we have a lot of information on William Shakespeare, both as book resources within the library, links to it from my website um, out to other internet information, as well as information here in the Gale Virtual Reference Library. So we're going to search William Shakespeare as a keyword, and you'll see it pulls back 2,370 things related to him. I wasn't kidding that we have a lot on him. <laughs> so here we are, we have a biography on William Shakespeare. Let's just get an idea of what's here. Um, all kinds of biography, biography information. If you look on the right side of the screen again, these screens change as you go through, you'll see the different document types. So there are 1,547 biographies on William Shakespeare, 619 critical essays, 542 work overviews, and these are all reference books, our e-reference books. If you go out to Student Resources and Context, and then Biography and Context, which is the fourth database we'll discuss, you'll see there is different kinds of information. Sometimes the information in the GaleNet databases overlaps. Sometimes they're very different depending what it database you're in. So obviously when you're searching William Shakespeare, you're not going to want to go through 2,370 articles. You're going to want to narrow that down depending on what topic you're given for the project. Um, we're not going to go into how to narrow it down. There's a separate video on that, but I just want you to, to see what's there. This is the name of the article. This is the name of the book that appears within the article. This is what you need to cite when you are writing a paper. All of this right here. So once you pull up what you need in, in the Gale Virtual Reference Library, you're going to click on the orange title, which will bring you right to the article within the book that you need. So if I click on that, it brings me right to William Shakespeare. I can listen to it, I can download it, I can print it, I can even download it as an mp3 to listen to it. And here's your article on William Shakespeare. Anytime Shakespeare appears, he appears in red because that's the topic that I searched. And this works very similarly to student resources in context. You can go back and learn more about how to move around in here in that first video of this series. That's just a little bit about Gale Virtual Reference Library. I highly recommend that any research project you do, you use this database just to see what is available related to that topic. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact me in the library.